Hello. A bit late, a couple of seconds later than anticipated because this software, it's the first time I've used it. So I didn't know where everything was. So here we go. We are live tonight. Phil is not in the graveyard as promised. Uh, let's just bring up Sadie. Hello. Here she is. Hello. Is right? Yeah. A little change of plan. Phil's not in the graveyard tonight. He has gone somewhere else. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think he said the graveyard was just too scary for him and he couldn't cope with it being on his own. He's not brave like you. <laughs> so what we do now, we shall now go over live to Phil. I believe he's standing by. I hope he's standing by. He looks black. So let's go over and see if he's about. Anyway, good evening, everybody. Let's just bring up young Phil. Oh, oh thank you, Timothy. Oh, no, surely good old boy. Good evening, everyone. Look at what I've got to look at. Isn't that cracking? And I'll just turn around. Yeah, so I thought the graveyard was a, bit, was a bit shit, so I decided to come down here. What's this place? It's just a country road, I hear you hear say. <clears throat> um, this, this actual place, I'm, I'm actually in, in, in Durham at the moment. Um, I'm in uh, not far from Durham City. And just over here, over the bushes, uh, is the River Weir. And in, in history, I'm sure there's a couple of signs knocking about as well, but near the river is where the monks who carried St. Cuthbert uh, for, for the coffin to Durham. Uh, this is where they would have walked, and they actually they built this river here. Now, further up here, I know this because I've done walks on, down here before, so I am familiar with this route. Further down here and into the woods, you, we will come across... Uh, a well which was made by the monks itself. I think it's dating, I'm guessing, I need you researchers on this, but I think it's about 12, 12 something the year. But the well is actually gridded up, so I can't go down the well. Not that I would want to anywhere. But I'm going to sit by the well and try and do some EVPs. There's also some craters in the ground as well. But as you can see, totally in the woods. And uh, proper dark. For those of you who like politics, just up this road here as well, about a mile up this road, is uh, Dominic Cummins' parents. Oh. oh. Right. So anyway, that's enough about politics. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can change the camera so you can see my ugly mug and what fashions I'm wearing tonight. Uh... We have sussed out how to move the camera now, Sadie, as well. Right. Yeah, we had a play around today. <clears throat> Ooh, I've got me gimbal. All right, hang on. You'll have to sh uh, show me when we're not. You're very right. quiet. It's very quiet, Sadie. I was going to say that. Yeah, she's very, very quiet. Yeah, so it's uh... a. <laughs> Glad we all got that. <laughs> you could hardly hear Sadie. Yeah, I've just heard, I've just heard some twigs then. Probably wildlife. Yeah, that's probably wildlife. Yeah, that's probably wildlife. Yeah, probably wildlife. Yeah, probably wildlife. Yeah. You're going to show us what you're sporting tonight, Phil. So we want to see the wellies and the tweed jacket. Yeah, how do I do this? Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to switch cameras again. A faff on, <laughs> right? Okay, so essential for paranormal investigating. Okay, <laughs> right? I'm um, I have to. <laughs> You might have I'm to 
re-log in again or something, Sadie, because you're very quiet and you're very stuttery. Hardly hear you. Yeah. I'm actually looking for an opening because uh, this is where the wells are. Well, a well. A well. It's been how well it goes tonight. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's all, guys. I'm going inside there. There's a big dip here. Excuse the run. Whoa, hang on. Good thing we've got that on camera. We have camera of Phil running there. Right, I'm just going to turn my torch off because there's a car going past and I look dodgy as fuck. Right. right, see these craters here? Can you see? Can you make this out? That's a crater. What, from the can... meteorite? Right? No. I don't know what the far thing it's to do. There's another one. See it? Oh, birdies. So you can see it's a big circle here. But there's a well somewhere around here. See all these ditches? This was made by the monks. Oh, there, there you go. We have information. And there's a well. Oh my god. Right, this is what the monks did. Can you see the well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh we'll just have a quick look at it. Right, as you can see it's been um it's been blocked off. But this is the actual stonework that they would have done. I'm surrounded, totally in the forest. All right, there's a bit of civilization light over there, but uh, as I look at the information, it's not as scary when you see a sign, is it? But no. here we are. No. <laughs> if you one of you guys want to read that out, uh, can you hear me now, Jared? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Are you going to read it out, Jared, or shall I? Well, since you started, you might as well finish it. All right, then. <laughs> right. The colliery was owned by Messrs. Love and Bell. Many of the bricks to be found alongside the path are embossed V and L or Love. Uh, right. right, okay, so everything I've just told you now is bullshit. It wasn't monks. This is a, a colliery. Right. So, yes. It's it's where they would make coal. They would get coal from a pit. Oh. You remember that big place you went to just outside Sheffield at that big pit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's called the colliery. Yeah. So underneath that, that's a colliery. Underneath oh. my feet is lots and lots of tunnels. And that's why there's all them circles like craters. That that would have been part of the mines where they've blocked them off. So you could say it's not really, well, it's probably as stable where I'm standing. Yeah, you'd have thought so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Wait, do you want to keep reading? Uh, yeah. Um, Joseph Love was involved in many collieries in the Ware Valley. He started his working life as a pit lad, became a ruthless employer, and in later life gave large sums of money to the Methodist movement for the building of chapels. Two seams were worked. The low main, 100 foot down and 32 inches thick, and the Hutton main, 50 foot lower and 43 inches thick. The area mined covered about two square miles, the furthest face being one and a half miles from the shaft bottom near the River Brownie. The second shaft had a coal-fired steam engine to haul men and coal from the pit. It may have looked like this in 1870. Crikey. So there was a proper work and a thing going on there, weren't there? Although this colliery produced 3 million tonnes of coal, it was quite primitive. 
first shaft was probably worked by a horse-powered windlass or gin. Picks and shovels were the work of tools, and ponies or small boys with tubs of coal for low ground. Okay. So, and this, uh, this obviously had something to do with it. There's me thinking it had something to do with monks. There is a sign further down this river path. I'm just going to turn my light off again because there's a car there. It just does look dodgy and crooked. There's a sun in the woods with a, with a torch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we, we are really. Yeah. <laughs> are you a bit scared, Phil? Uh, being honest, no. Um, no. Uh, I'm just concerned what other people think, what the bloody hell's he doing in the woods? Yeah. <laughs> like you said, it's 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 the it's the people that I'm surrounded by that's more scary. But I mean yeah. I've I have got um There's another sign here, something about plant life. Uh I have got see can you see that dip there? I have got a DVR recording, so I will be doing Apologies, I'm calling out near the well. And uh, depending on how, how, how things go, I might take you for a bit of a walk along the river, if anybody's interested, that is. And we can go for a walk uh, towards Durham itself, if that's something people will be interested in. If not, I'll just go on. I'm sure they will, Phil. I'm sure they will. Yes, yeah, I think they will. So listen, like I said uh, before, I have been on a couple of investigations with, with with the team. But as far as calling out and stuff like that, I'm not very confident of doing. Uh, so you guys are going to have to help me out tonight. So if you hear anything or, or anything like that, or you, want, you can feel something, do let us know and I can... Uh, I'll just gladly call it out. Yeah. I'm just having a one to one now. Sadie's was more dodgy looking. Yeah, Sadie's more dodgy looking. Do you reckon? <laughs> I think Phil's <laughs> looking more dodgy. <laughs> I've been shitting myself out there. Yeah. Because it's like you if you get into any sort of trouble or get scared, you're really gonna have to run into you by the looks of it. What's oh yeah, well, the light over there. Yeah. Huh? Look, torchlight over there, 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 there. Are they reflections from a, a sign? That? No, to the right to the right a little bit. There. That's that. Um oh, that's that's a really big mansion. All right. Um yeah, that's civilians. That's a really big mansion down there. How dare they live in a forest? How Is dare they? Yeah. What's that people? No, there's no people. It's just uh, it's it's the lights, it? on the street lights on the driveway. You know, like you do have at, at Fourth Towers. Oh yes. <laughs> right. What I can do then is because uh, I've got a tripod with me. I can try and set up the fern. I'll have to switch cameras. Bear with. And then I'll do some calling out. Yep. What I'll do is when you're doing that, we'll we'll mute the two microphones so it's just your mic being heard. So then we can't right. so get this well... contamination from myself or Sadie. Oh, tripod's going all over the place. Right, so when I showed you the well earlier, I'm just I'm just actually sticking the tripod in the middle of the well. Is that you, Phil? What? Go. <laughs> Fuck off. Something just no, seriously, something went. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought that was you as well. It sounded like you were you were overexerting yourself, setting a tripod, going like that. Yeah. I just lean, I lean, I lean over like that, and then I just put the tripod down. Right, it's 15 minutes in. We'll, seriously, we'll it, went, it, it seriously <laughs> went 
<laughs> like that. You make yeah. no noise whatsoever. Because I leaned over. I never made any grunt like that. Well, it did sound like you went, ugh. That I'll, um, horrible. I can make a note of the time and we'll come back to that. Yeah. Time. 15 minutes. I'll try and help you out as well. I just want to find something to scribble with. There's nothing ever. There we go. I'm writing it in the chat. I don't know if we'll be able to see that afterwards. Will we? Um, I was going to write on a bit of paper, but I don't have a bit of paper. I'll write it on my phone instead. I've got paper, but I'm going to take a scribble if someone's nicked my pen. It's usually laying it. Look. No, no pen. I've written it down in the chat. We'll, yeah, I don't we'll know. Just, I don't know. Right. right, so tonight I'm going to be using this thing. It's got a little DVR, and we'll try and talk on that. Mm -hmm. There is nothing on the files. I've totally wiped the files. I'll show you that in a minute, once it loads up. <coughs> As you can see, it, it's recording now, and it's on file one. All right, we'll do is, yep. well, when you're ready, we'll now meet Sadie and myself, so it's just you now. Right, so what should I start off with then? Just the usual one, just ask if you're alone, if there's anyone there, anyone like to come try and communicate. I'm just going to dim this torch a bit more. How do you feel comfortable starting off? Yes, whatever comes to mind, mate. Um... You can actually see me. You just moved something that time, didn't you, Phil? Just move the reposition the tripod. Yeah. Right, right let's so know when you're ready, and we'll we'll, we'll go uh, sound out here. Right. right. This is file two on here because the first file was a test. Just inviting any spirits that might be around me right now. Welcome them. Uh, and to ask if they would like to talk to me tonight. I'm totally open for you to have a chat with me. If you can, I just ask that you talk really, really loudly. Can you just introduce yourself, please, by either saying your name or say hello? That was a, there's a bird in the distance. Can you say hello or tell me your name now, please? Right, I just heard something in the distance. It could have been wildlife, but it was just right on cue. If that was you banging in the distance, can you do that again? Are you able to throw a twig at me or some sort of branch or anything? Right, something was thrown. <laughs> Again, it could be wildlife, but something was thrown to the left of me. I'm just going to turn this off and see if we could hear anything. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything, Sadie? No, not this yeah, I'm, just going to play. I'm just going to play this part now. All right, I'll mute us again then. You'll definitely hear it on here. Just one second, guys. I forgot to stop the bloody thing. Right, okay. Now I'm going to press play. Right, this is file two on here because the first file was a test. Just inviting any spirits that might be around me right now. Welcome them. 
uh, and to ask if they would like to talk to me tonight. I'm totally open for you to have a chat with me. If you can, I just ask that you talk really, really loudly. Can you just introduce yourself, please, by either saying your name or say hello? That was a, there's a bird in the distance. Can you say hello or tell me your name now, please? I've, I've just heard something in the distance. It could have been Lord Life, but it was just right on cue. If that was you banging in the distance, can you do that again? Are you able to throw a twig at me or some sort of branch or anything? Playback, Phil. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I could hear voices. Quite clear. Right. Could you, Jared? I've just had the light off now, and I'm really. No, that's all I heard. It's like a, a maybe a bird squawking in the tree. Mm. I heard voices. Can I just tell you right now? I've been playing that back, and there's been no noises, and I can't hear anything now. It's totally deadly silent. Um, I'm just gonna. God, I hope when I put this forward, I hope we don't see a face in front of us. <laughs> but it's totally silent now. But there was, when I was asking questions, there was a, a noise just coming from this area. Like I said, it could be wildlife. And then there was a noise. What's that in the bush? Look, look, look. You're right. There. What's that? Is that another torch? Hang on. What is that? Oh, it's part of the mansion. All right. <clears throat> in fact, there's a path up here. Let's, let's go down this path. Why did I say that? <laughs> Right, well, I've never been down here. This. I've never been down this area. So this is uh, this is new ground to me. It's quite nice. There's no wind. All the branches are perfectly still as well, aren't they? Oh yeah, it's, it's totally and utterly still. In fact, it's eerily still. I can hear the ringing in my ears. It looks it. That's a good decision for you to go live tonight because here is foggy, a, a absolute pitch black fog outside. Yeah. It seems colder than Yeah, the feedback, is, the feedback you're hearing is coming from Sadie's because if I mute her, it vanishes. Oh, sorry, is it me? Yeah, the feedback's you. Ah, was, was there like a. Has it stopped now? No, it's like a droning noise. Ah, that's my computer. It's because it's really on a bit now and it, it groans and moans. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite noisy. It's because, like, I don't know if the fan in it doesn't work properly, but it's it might be the fan working on it. How do you feel, Phil? Um, the temperature earlier said two Celsius. Yeah. And it felt, it felt pretty cold. Right now, it feels as though I'm actually indoors and it's so still and so quiet. But I'm just gonna do a, another quick temperature check. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you the question you asked me last night, Phil. On a scale of 1 to 10, how are yep. your nerves right now? 2. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it may increase. 
So I mean, I'm, I am honestly trying to find. Ooh, that's a bit of mob plus isn't it? Uh, I am trying to think of a place to go to where it could even be even more scarier than this. That's how not scared I am. Um, there is another walk further into the forest that we could probably do. Um, but in terms of hauntings, I've not known anything to be haunted. Oh, right, okay, we've got another sign here. Oh. Oh, right, so, okay. So what we're, what we're actually on now is a railway line. This is the railway line that would have carried the coal. Is it is it supposed to be haunted there? Well, the only reason I came here because if we go further down, you'll see a sign that says that the monks built the river, just over down just down there. Yeah. Is is the river, which is very still. Very weirdly still. Yeah, because normally that river's quite fast flowing, isn't it? It's got rocks and things in there. Every time we've been there, it's been quite quite fast. It's dead strange. Dead strange. I'm just trying to look to see if I can see the river, but I couldn't, I couldn't see the river at all. But I just thought, you know, a woodland area, it's quite historic, historical. Is that activity in the, in the in the woodland area? I thought it might be of interest. Um, yeah. The, okay, so the reason for the graveyard tonight, it's not because I was scared. Um, it's basically because where the graveyard is, although quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that a sign, Hunt? Um, although quite interesting, there is houses looking over the graves so i was just thinking if i'm the <laughs> six foot bloke with a really uh oh buddies uh with the torch lights we're gonna think who's this matter looking at graves in the dead of night yeah well not in the dead of night that's it's nice because somewhere new we went to the graveyard last year was it the year before we spent a good three or four hours down there didn't we yeah Right, so I'm coming out. I'm on the road now. <laughs> so what I can do, I can either go, let me know in the comments, I can either go back up that way <laughs> and then go through the woods, the woodland, right at the top, and then come out onto the, uh, the road. Or I can keep going down this road, because there's a river just there, walk along the river, <laughs> And it will take me towards Durham City. And on the river, there is some quite historical things on the river that we could probably use. So, do you want do you want Phil to go by the river or back into the forest? See if anyone's going to be brave enough to put a comment down to tell you where to go. Have we got many on tonight? Because there's not so many comments. 943. Yeah. Might be a good <laughs> Yeah, anything less than a thousand is not worth it, is it? No. Uh, you've had two rivers and two forests and one go where you're comfortable. And I've got three rivers now. Go what? Go where you're comfortable. No, home it is. We got three for river. Nope, two, sorry, two for river and two for forest. You're right, well, I'm heading down by the river now. So if I walk along the river, in fact, there's a, there's a garden that I can go to that's pretty dark. As long as there's no season, it's up to no good. <laughs> uh, which would be all right. What did that drawing sound like then? Is it just like... Mm. Anybody? What, just then? No, um, before. Oh, what, initially? Yeah. It was like, um, 
you know some of those scary things we've been watching yeah scary videos um you know those exaggerated sounds where it goes like ah! <laughs> but a bit deeper yeah it sounded like that and it was it wasn't your end because i never heard nothing no definitely not me not jared you heard it didn't you jared I actually thought. I'm sick of this. Uh, I'm not hearing anything in the line. Unless it was uh, the noise of me wellies. <laughs> and I didn't hear it. I didn't register it. Yeah. Maybe. And it come through a little bit differently at our end. But it did sound a bit to me like. A... <laughs> I, mean, I, t I, t I, totally, I totally believe in this, um, the, the feeling that you get, you know, mm -hmm. when your adrenaline starts going. And my own body is telling me it's A-OK -okay at the moment. Yes. My brain is a bit confused while we're here in the middle of the night, but everything's OK. You know what that is over there? It's tempting. But yeah, this is, without the torch, this is what I can see. So I'll put the torch in. The torch off. Swing around. So yeah, without a torch, if the batteries went, I think, yeah, yeah. Oh! Batteries go, we start to walk back to the car, won't it? Right. A little bit, a little bit in shock right now. I've just, I've just seen, but it was with me torch down. In front of me, left to right, I just saw a, a white wisp go past, but it was, um, it was very, very fast. It went like this. It went from, hang on, that's on. It went from there. But it went at the speed, uh, really fast, but in the distance. But my torch was down, so I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me. It was a white, white, whitish wisp. I tell you, there was a um, there was a moment when I was driving. I think I've told you about this before, and I was near Pendle Hill, that that route, and I was yeah. coming from. Yeah. I cut to the north, yeah, and I saw this animal go in front of me, and I've never seen an animal before like it ever. It was it was black. It looked like a. It had the feet of a dog, but it looked like a like a, a boar or a pig. And it, but it ran fast, but it didn't have the feet of a, a pig. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking weird. Especially one of them down near here as well that runs around that's been seen several times at night. My father in law showed me a picture of what it could have been, but it was too small. A lot bigger than this one. We should go to Pendle Hill one week. Once locked down, let's just go to Pendle Hill and have a look around. Yeah, we should, that'd be great. Right. We should camp there. Yeah, the nephew wasn't up there, wasn't it? Not long ago. But, um, so I'm coming to civilian life right now, so I'm going to turn the torch off. Mm -hmm. um, it is quietly, quite well lit, apart from when we get to the, when we get to the gardens, these historic gardens. Um, could do some more calling out there. I'm sorry if this isn't scary enough for oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> unless we get, unless we dramatise it a bit more, then uh, I'm afraid this is as good as it gets, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing well, Phil, right? Yeah. Yeah. See now you don't normally like going out on your own as well. <laughs> well I can yeah. see the rhythm. And how scared he gets if we get anything, like a voice or anything. Or wildlife. Yeah. No. yeah. No, as soon as I hear a voice or wildlife. The heart rate will pump up, but it's just until that moment. 
I mean, I'm kind of semi-prepared when I was in the woods. <laughs> when I turned the lights back on for a face to be right in front of me. But, uh... Mm. That would be fun. Yeah, for you. <laughs> not... <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to your rescue in about five hours. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get any haunting out of this, and you'll certainly get a lovely walk. Yeah. Exactly. I've not seen the comments flash up. I don't think you can see comments when you're on the phone, though, can you? I can, I can see them, but I can't respond to them or anything. Who's on tonight, then? Unless I go directly to the page. Um, there's... John. Yeah, John, Philip, Tricia, Loretta, Sarah, uh, oh, Jockey, Jockey, Adrian's on. Should we talk about these uh, top John. fan bags? Sarah's getting upset, isn't she? Tricia? No, we don't want to mention this top, top fan bag. It's a real soft, soft, soft at the moment. Ellie? I hope, I hope he keeps his badge shiny. And we have got some... Uh, Polish to send over to him to keep his mind nice and shiny. <laughs> right, so we've got a nice posh restaurant just there. Mm -hmm. But this is a very old building as well. That's been converted into a restaurant. The river's just there now. My car is actually parked inside this area here. So I will have to come back to it and eat some wine, isn't it? But the river's just there. Uh, I don't think you can hear that now. So you had to do it, didn't you? You mentioned top fan badge and you wanted to set something. See, now they're talking. Now they're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Philip's got to pop off and walk his dogs. Uh, uh. Well, we should go live with Philip. It would probably be more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lynn. I'll just I'll try responding to a few of these comments actually, just by talking. That's all right. They're just kind of talking amongst themselves at the moment, like they normally do. Yeah. yeah it'll t it'll take me a bit to get to uh, these gardens. But... See, Adrian, you'll never get a top fan badge being like that. What did you say? <laughs> I had an early night. I was gutted when I woke up and saw I missed you all yesterday. Push the replay button! Yeah. <laughs> Although, yes, weather permitting, there is another live tomorrow night. And we might have a treat for you Saturday night as well, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, tonight's not over. No, not over yet. No, we'll talk about that later. Yet. I'm going to try and make it a little bit more scary for you. We're going to go to some uh, you know, ruins. I'm going to see a fish monster, are you? Well, I saw that there was actually witches down here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Not me. <laughs> oh, my God, there's a shadow man waving at me. Oh, <laughs> you look like a duck. <laughs> Fuck it up. Do you like the smooth footage, though? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, not bad at all. Nothing but the best for you guys. Oh, car coming. Run, Forrest. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be looking. Look at that plumper. I'm a young chap. I'm working. <laughs> Session this one and game and see if that's required. <laughs> Lynn, you just have to catch up with what's happening here. Not a lot at the moment, Lynn. You haven't missed a lot at all. Uh, feels... yeah. Thanks. <laughs> what we're experiencing <laughs> here is we're, we're, we're experiencing a, a tier three lockdown area. This is what a tier three lockdown area looks like. It is. Yeah. So we're waiting for the zombies to come out. Yeah. yeah. 
Right. Lights back out again. Oh. So over there, if you can make it out, it's like a football field. And it used to be, lights. That used to be the training ground for Newcastle United in the Kevin Keegan, Alan Shearer days, but no longer because it was bought by the University of Durham. That's nice. Nice guy. Yeah. I'll get rid of the top. So you get tons of joggers coming down here during the day. The supplies are still light. There's yeah. the river. You can't see. There's a lot of interference. What do you mean? What? Have you got something playing, like a, um, like a spirit box? That's that's all um coming from your computer. Is it really? Yeah, it's fine. Fine, fine mute, mute, mute you now, Sadie. It's ah. okay. Everything's gone. <laughs> it sounds beautiful, no? It does, doesn't it? Nice and quiet. And if you bring it back in again, oh. get all the noise again. I always knew my computer was haunted. Always. <laughs> well, you've not updated since 1998. <laughs> Well, it's a generation one Apple Mac you've got there, isn't it? Uh, no, <laughs> it's not. Oh, it's, 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 not it's, pre it's not that, that fancy, yeah. I think it is actually. I've got an Acer, um, and I've got in it's Windows 7. The whole series of You're definitely better on your phone, Sadie. It's not, there's no, no noise. Yeah. Definitely. I'm more comfy doing it on here because I've got a bigger screen. I'm in my chair, comfy chair. And I've got my phone in my hand. So it's better. A nice little walk, isn't it? It is. Um, oh, we have a sign. We have a sign. What's the sign say? Come on, we need to see the sign. We're going to be deaf. Ah. All the head electric, which can cause hallucinations. Only if you're wearing your, your tinfoil hat. My God, did you just see those seven dwarves? Did you not see him? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, due, to, due to restrictions, there was not seven doors. There was only six. Yeah, one of them wasn't happy. Exactly. You know the year 2020? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to end in tears. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd hear all night, folks. <laughs> You know what I mean, us. You can have that one for free. Yeah, sometimes you pay for it. Sometimes during the day, on, along this river, you'll see herons and stuff like that, and you'll also see fish jumping out the river. It's quite amusing. Sadie so needs to go on her phone so we can hear. I can mute my mic. Oh dear, you you started something now, Phil. What? Adrian, happy new tea. Happy new tea. <laughs> Good one, Adrian. Oh, how we've missed you. <laughs> I'll just mute my 
there is the same river where one of our little walk arounds a few years ago i did actually see fish jumping out of it down yeah. by the bridge in t in uh, city center so that's further up that's finkel oh yeah when we went for the durham walk yes yeah. yeah it's yeah, by the, the main bridge that's the other side of durham this is uh yeah this is the other this is the other walk. you haven't been on this one but all those lights there all the way down there right up here this is the sports area uh for Durham university and it's only one section Durham university is freaking huge we're talking massive like 20 mile radius that's quite small and you can see the size of norwich university they're just dotted all around and uh we're going to come up to the uh, the rowing bit in a minute my legs are thinking when are we gonna stop and obviously you forgot about oxford university as well and harvard yes you mustn't forget harvard <laughs> or harvard which one did you go to sadly i went to harvard oh harvard harvard <laughs> No. Did I, um, I was going to say, did I, I was going to be common then, <laughs> but I won't. No, I went to high school and then I went to college. I actually went to Lynn, King's Lynn College, Norcat. I'm sorry to hear that. Norcat? Norcat. <laughs> it's called Norfolk. See, I don't even know what it stands for. No fuck, no cats. No cats, no fuck. <laughs> it's the big skyscraper in um, King's Lynn. I went there um, a couple of times, actually. I went there after school. And I went there in my early 20s as well. Right, just to update on this walk, I'm going to be crossing over a very rickety break. <laughs> And then we're going to be coming very close to where well, I'm going to stop and do some cold work. It's a little bit more further away, but over there, past the lights, just on this uh, outline here. The hill? Yeah. That's where, you would have, that's where you would have had me if you'd chosen the woods. And it would have come out... Guys, I'll be back in one second. I've just got to sort the dogs out. They're going crazy at something. I'll be oh. back in a minute. Oh, I can hear now. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a clear night there, haven't you? Yeah. Can you make any shapes or look? Two eyes and a nose. Yes. It's Voldemort's dark mark, isn't it? That's where the moon is trying to get through as well. Look, there's the moon. I'm guessing. Oh, there's another face there. Two eyes. Mouth. It's got gappy teeth. Could be his dog. It does look like a dog now, doesn't it? That one. Yeah, like a poodle. Welcome to Paradolia, guys. Right. Talking, talking about university now, how Scotland, you don't pay for university. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I'm well, done to, I'm well done to Scotland as well. And this is no joke or anything like that. But uh, in all seriousness, well done to Scotland for making women's toiletries free. And so it bloody should be as well. Oh, yeah. In Scotland. Yeah, I agree. It should, women should not prepare for sanitary products. Absolute joke. I'd move there. Absolutely. No problems at all. Okay. Right. This is where they come down and do the rowing. And that's the rickety bridge that we're going to go on now. 
Don't drop your phone in the water. A lot of people don't like crossing this bridge. I feel is there a troll underneath? Is there a scary swamp monster? No, it's just like there's gaps. <laughs> and people are here looking down. And it does make a rickety noise and it does bounce. So be prepared if you've got your headphones on for a lot of banging. Okay. Here we go. I found a superb bridge in Scotland. Hiya. Oh, it's quite a long old bridge, then. Huh? It's quite a long old bridge. It is. Right, we're going to the dark side now. Yeah. Welcome to the dark side. Right, we're off the bridge. And now we're going to go towards this area here where it's all dark. But there are some ruins over there from old Victorian days, I do believe. But don't take my word for it because last time I told you it was about monks. And it wasn't, it was a bit colour here. Yeah, just trying to jockey about the bridge. It's a bridge. I can't wait. We're in Scotland for. It was around Lockerbur area, around that state. I was looking for a particular piece of land. I was following the, what's it called, the Ordnance Survey location to get to this place. And we came across this bridge. It's this massive wooden bridge that goes over a river, one car length wide. And it was creaking and groaning as I drove over it. So me being nice, I decided to stop right in the middle and take some photos. Yeah. Good bridge, that. If anything would have come the other way, I would have been screwed. But it was a really good bridge. I'd love to know where it was. During the daytime, this is just full of joggers, all the students and stuff. Doesn't mean that something might not come out because it's, it's probably not expecting anyone to be walking about at this time of night. Might get one job. No, I'm talking about spirits. All right. Jogging <laughs> <laughs> we'll the there with the bench. Jogging watchers. We might get one jogger tonight if you're lucky. Yeah. There might be a spirit of a jogger. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a big, massive white mist. No, oh, you can't see it. No, I can't see it. It's just here. Oh, you can't see it. That's really strange. Oh, no. Where's that coming from? It's not. It's not your breath in the first to going over, is it? No, no, no. It's co it's constant. It's like there's a light shining on it. There probably is a light shining on it. Yeah, can you see it now? No. Here. It's like a cloud. That's actually a tree. No, it's a tree. I don't see the tree. It's just like there's light shining on. These are fresh batteries, by the way. So I'm just uh, turning it off every now and again. Try and see <laughs> what's happening is the lights to fail. Jockey's saying be careful. Why, Jockey? Why? What are you thinking? thinking Make me go from a two to a three. Doesn't want to leave his warm bed to come and rescue you. No. And then he's got an iron his kilt. 
Yeah, it's getting pixelated now. Pixelated? Yeah, you've simply picked the signal's going pixelated. Your image is going very, very pixelated. What about now? Nope, still the same. Oh, it... Just let me know if you start losing connection. We are coming to the most haunted tunnel in Europe. I thought you were in Durham, County Durham, not Yorkshire. Yeah, it's in, still in Europe. Oh, yeah, forget Yorkshire. This is the most haunted tunnel outside in the Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah, it's very pixelated. Is it? Yeah. Looks all right on my end. So if you stand still instead of the camera, no. What about now? Not as bad, but... I've stood still now. Could do a quick Could do a quick Hello. Yeah, I'll like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm still never sit on the fence to do a call out. Oh, hang on. You might get echo of footsteps in the tunnel. I'm going to go above. I don't know why my brain's doing this. My, brain, my legs are going, what are you doing? I'm going to go up, <laughs> up the bridge. The bridge is the stair. I'm going to go up. Bridge is there where it was meant to be, and I'm going to go this way, deeper into the woods. So now I'm leaving the river, and then uh, I'll stop in and do some calling out. This is where I really don't want my lights to fail me. Yeah, still well, they're rather pixelated. I'll just check how many bars I've got. I've got four bars. 4G? Yeah, 4G, four bars. This is what it looks like if the lights failed. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Pitch black. You just have to sit there till, till the morning and wait till light comes. This is nothing, you know what I, I think I'm kind of... I set myself up for this really when I was younger. I told you the story when I was 15 and I went camping with my mate and my mate never showed up. I had on the camping gear, and next time I got there, it was already dark. I had to go camping, I had to climb up this uh, really beautiful big hill to where the woods were. And I thought, so I'm going to do it, I'm here now. Is it frosty there, Phil? Uh, the grass looks really white. That's just a reflection of the, the dead leaves. Let's have a temperature check, shall we? Let's have a temperature check. A lot of time to check. Yeah, still temperature check. This is, where, this is where I was going to stop anyway. Um, and if we can stop a bit more over here. Well, what was that, sir? It says I have a really cool gadget. I saw a really cool gadget a while back. It's a beanie hat with a built-in headlight. No, I meant on the brick. Oh, oh, it's the eyes. And You've got one of those beanie hats, haven't you, Jared? I have indeed, and it'll be, it'll be premiered tomorrow night, weather permitting. Yeah. Well, I'm just setting the tripod up. My body temperature is really hot and sweaty. No calm down, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do a temperature. I've got everything in there. I'm just switching the camera around. You can see my open mug. I'll just sit down. Hey, oh. 
Oh, cocker. Right. Who's Patrick? Alright, let's just turn this down a bit. I don't need to be so bad. I'll suggest it so you can... Can I see my face? Alright. Right, we'll mute, we'll mute us again <laughs> once you're ready to call out. Temperature earlier was... Is it 0.2? 0.2, then it went to about... <clears throat> temperature now... Can't see it, screen's gone dark. 0.5. Oh. Oh. Point six. No point four. This is really weird, but I've, I've stood still now. I stopped walking, and I, and I can't actually hear what's that. What sound like what's that? Have a listen. Can't do nothing now. 0.5. Actually, if I just keep doing that, I can just keep it on, can't I? This bit changes. Yeah, look at that. 4.3. Any spirits you want to come closer to me? Make the temperature change. Point where it's kind of like a little bit freaking me out. I'm at a five right now. Can you come closer to me and change the temperature around me? That's it. Get closer. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're doing really well. You're making it a lot colder now. I can feel it on my cheek. Can you come even more closer, please? Don't move away. Come closer. Come and sit next to me. Steady 4.2. That was my phone. Just as the sake of this exercise, can you just move away from me, please? See if we can get it warmer. Just heard laughter. I don't know if that was more life. I want to see if there's anything actually around me. I wanted to see if, if you're actually around me. And by coming closer to me, I'm hoping that you can change this temperature or moving away. So can I ask you again, please, to come real close to me? When he went to three, I actually I felt the cold on my chink. Thank you. Get even closer. Real close. Philip has now asked to get the temperature up instead of down. I'm hearing voices really close to me, like two lads. I mean, if I'm thinking it's, it, it almost sounds like it's real. Yes, I just had a cough. I just had a cough. I heard that bell. Are you alright, Phil? I'm fine. I just don't know if they're real. I don't think I'm getting any closer. That's really weird. I just seen something go running past. Now it's stopped. What did you say, Phil? It's just, just running past. 
Like the crumbs are off you. What, it's like? Else about. What, is there somebody there on their own? I'm not afraid of the living. I can handle myself. Yeah. Um, what's going on? Show him on it's the just as we were asking and calling out. Yeah. I heard the footsteps coming. Um, but I definitely saw something go past. I just don't know whether it's human. Put your light on and find out. Yeah. But there's nobody else about. Did he have he a talk? No he had no flashlight. No nothing. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, one to ten, Phil. What are you? I've at? just turned you guys down now, so I don't know if you're talking. I'm just trying to find out where he's gone. But he'll be able to see me because of my, the light reflecting from my phone. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to just set back down again. Yeah. Oh. Can you hear us, Phil? Because I was enjoying. I'm just going to turn you guys back up. Phil, what are your levels at? One, one to ten. Um, <laughs> it's gone up to seven now. Yeah. Has he gone? Shine, shine the torch up and down the path so you can see the back of anyone walking away. It's really weird. Um, I have to be really quick with the camera, but I can see things happening. Like there's a there's a there's a light. It's like the, the trees just lit up, not not from a torch. Almost dim looking. But those footsteps have gone now. You'd think it would be wearing a flashlight or something, but no flashlight. Did you hear the footsteps? I didn't. <laughs> Right, I'll swing the camera around because I want to carry on. I thought I was getting somewhere with the temperature, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, Philip, Philip asked about that. He said, instead of asking to go down, so you think make it go warmer, put the temperature up. Yeah. Right, full steps again, full steps again. Really? I'll just, just have to mute everyone. This is mute. Shh, shh. I've got the camera now. I'm not looking at my face. I've got it looking forward. I'm going to look bored if it's a real person. I'll just quickly shine the light. <gasps> fuck, 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 fuck. There's something crouched. What the fuck is he playing at? Something crouched in the middle. Over there. Can you see it? Oh, fucking hell. I'm not trying to. What? That shit in the pants are going to be fuzzy. But I can, I'm not trying to dramatize anything. I can see something. I've got a white top on, white t shirt, and I just crouched around in the, in the field. I don't know if they're hiding from me. There's a light there. Shh, 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 quiet. Voices again. I'm just going to turn my lights off. I'm still here. Just listen out of the I can hear voices. Can you hear a conversation? I almost feel so surrounded. There's noises going to my left and going to my right. Just said someone again screaming. I'm hoping that they are real voices. I don't know whether to move from this place or stay. Right, I'm just going to put my light back on. I'm going to have a look see if this guy's still crouching. Jesus, I need a second. Okay, I'm at, I'm at an eight. Something. When I turn the lights off, there's something there. Something there. 
can be whoever's, whoever's there that can see my mind. I'm really out of focus. <gasps> Did you hear that? I'm hoping that was an insect. Please tell me that you heard that then, because it sounded like someone went <laughs> in my ear, like a blow. It's oh, I'm honest to God, I'm not trying to dramatize things because that's not what I try and do. But it almost is probably an answer for it. it. It's like it's settled down now. But at one crucial point, it felt like I was actually surrounded by voices, there was voices coming over there, voices coming over there, a person running down there, it could have been a coincidence, and it was all real, and they were real humans, but it's just all died down now. Can you guys help me out and uh, let me know if you've heard anything, or am I just going mad? I didn't hear uh, anything. I don't know if anybody else heard anything. I heard something like a. But. Yeah, did you hear it? I don't did you hear something blowing in my ear? I don't know if it was an insect or. Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah. I'm just going to move away from the place. Just going to check I've got on my gear. Yeah, yeah, for that. I'm just going to move away from the place and I wanted to take you down here because this is where the, the gardens are. And I've got a very cold ass right now. I'm sitting down on that storm. I thought it was a tell you. Okay. Um, there is a path here. Now, level headed. These signs, I do not like. Jared will tell you. So that white sign would have been what I thought was someone crouching down. Because I was all the way up there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, there, is a, the first time. there is a path here. So someone could have gone for a, a nighttime jog. That is also a possibility. Yeah. But it all just seemed to happen at the same time. And here I am now. Why didn't he have a torch? Where the hell could he see where he was going? I'm at the historic gardens. And there's a notice board just here. I'm, I'm just sorry, I've got to move that away because I'm hearing voices again. I'm going to be putting an asylum soon. <laughs> right. Where are you between one and ten now? It's actually going down. It's going down. Yeah. Up there, yeah. it was quite high. Which makes, makes me want to go back up there. Yeah. yeah because that's where we're getting the temperature changes. Or should I go to a Durham Garden? I want to think about this. There might be, although, Jared will tell you, I'm not bothered about any inches or anything like that, but I just think that they just end up being like bits. Um, I think there might be some people who are doing gardens by the sound of voices on here. But I can go back up. And I'm aware I think it was all good for the John Gardens. Because uh, the night is young. Now I'm going to go back up and do some more calls. <clears throat> you know how scared you were, Phil? Yeah. I was actually scared at home. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. I was actually scared at home for you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, <clears throat> I wasn't going to dramatise anything. So, you know, it's yeah. scary, nothing's happening. 
I was um, genuinely starting to get a bit fearful. It's because everything was all happening at the same time. Yeah. Well, even whether or not it could actually be explained, it just seemed to go from quietness, and I was kind of like talking myself up in the air from the uh, temperature changes because that seemed to be working on command, didn't it? Yeah. And then that's and when I'm everything gonna... pretty much kicked off, really, isn't it? I'm just going to first the camera to me again, and uh, I'll try and do what Phil said. Right. Okay, let's begin to my ugly mug. So there's a storm slab just here. I've walked up again. This is the exact same point now. I've got the temperature changes and we're getting the cold out. And I'll just turn it in. I love the details, you should be totally blind, you don't know, so you can't see nothing, can you? I've got the DVR on the right now. Right, let's see what we've got here. Six point nine, six point seven. Uh, yeah, pick me up. Yeah, pick me up. Yeah. I'm alive. Right. Yeah, six point five, six point four. And before it was at a three. Yeah. Well, I'll keep the temperature on, and I'll uh, do some calling out. Right, here we go. I've got the DVR. We're now on file three. Remember, at home, if there's anything that you want me to ask, help me out. Uh, and I'll try and... Try, Jared will tell me, or flash up the comments, and I'll uh, ask out. It's a steady temperature at the moment. That was a bird. Wildlife. Just set it to record now. Uh, this is Phil. Sat down on a uh, piece of rock close by to Durham Gardens. That's picking me up. The temperature is at 6.6, 6.5. That's my hand again. Then spirits that are close to me, can you get closer again to me, please, like you did before? I'm now holding a, a device that if you were to shout loud enough, I should be able to hear you. If you could tell me your name or shout hello, you could do that now for me now. Uh, now for me, please. You have to be really, really, really loud. Can you tell me your name? Just up in the DVR now. Uh, that was a minute recorded. Let's just have a quick listen back. This is Phil. Sat down on a uh, piece of rock close by to Durham Gardens. Picking me up. The temperature is at 6.6, 6.5. That's my hand again. So the spirits that are close to me, can you get closer against me, please, like you did before? I'm now holding a, dev a device that if you were to shout loud enough, I should be able to hear you. If you could tell me your name or shout hello, you could do that now for me now. Uh, now for me, please. You have to be 
be really, really, really loud. Can you tell me your name? Apart from one little noise near the end there, but that could be unwildlife. Well, after you said, can you tell me your name? Oh, the DVR then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after you said, can you tell me your name, I could hear something. But I couldn't quite make it out. Because you're breaking up a little bit, the sound. My end, anyway. So uh, there was a message there about temperature. Can you just remind me what that's very That one. Right, ask it to touch the temperature. We're still at a steady six. Isn't that strange? Before we were up to it, fall up to sit next to me. Yeah. Really strange. So we'll try that again. Yeah. yeah. Any, anything between three and five degrees in temperature yeah. change is usually. Something. Any spirits that are around me, can you come close to me, please? Can you sit next to me again? I'll see if you can uh, make the temperature go down. Come sit right next to me. We can have a talk. I'm starting to hear the noises again. Oh, God, do we really want to go there? That's my phone. Temperature's dropping. Come and sit next to me, please. All right, st still steady, still steady. You sat next to me earlier. You try and do that again. Let's get it to six. Can you get it to six exactly? We'll keep it steady. Can you drop it down to six? Thank you. Oh. Is that because you're closer to me? <laughs> I'm guessing. Are you able to keep the temperature at a steady six? There's a six. Keep it steady. Thank you. Thank you. 6.1, 6.2. Okay, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Got up to a nine. Thanks, Phil. Um, help me out, guys. What do I say? Uh, can you? Can you? Um, can you? Let's just drop it down to about. Drop it down to about three. Yeah. Thanks, Jared. Can drop the temperature down to three. Can you drop the temperature down to three? Are you able to do that? I think you'll have to get really, really close to me. And drop it down. Drop it down to three. Come on, you can really. Come on, you can do it. I think you have to sit really, really, really close to me. And drop it down all the way down to three. That's it. Keep doing it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Make it really cold. What are we on? Why is it 5.4? Yeah, you got down to 5.1. You have to get even colder than that, please. I don't know why the light's not on. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, we're at 5. Thank you. 4. We need to get it to three. Get it to three. This is almost like a game that we're playing. It's a fun game as well. Let's get it to three. Come on. It's really cold down there. Left hand side of my arm. I don't know if that's just natural. Thank you. Let's get it to three. I don't know how difficult this is for you. Going back up again. Four 
I'm just going to leave the temperature thing because my thumb's bloody hurting. Keep pressing. It's right. weird how it gets stuck at 5.3. No, 5.3, but it's stopped at 5.3 for quite a while. No, before it was at 5.0. I said, keep... oh, yeah, oh, no. But then, it, then he said, put it to 3 and it went back. He sat at 5.3 for quite, quite a while. Was it not 6? Keep it steady at 6. Was keep it steady at keep it steady at six for for ten seconds. Then I said drop it down to three, five point three. Much race around this five point three for a good couple of three seconds. Otherwise, it was just fluctuating. It went to five point. So what are you what are you saying in your experience was is that weird or? Had it gone down to three degrees, I'd have been impressed. It went down quite down to two degrees. Yeah, I would have, I would have froze my nuts off for you, Jared. No problem. That's right. All these times you sent me out. Nice right, let's, keep, back. let's keep the momentum going. Um, You're doing really well. I'm just really shit at asking questions, but thanks, really. <laughs> Mind off, I'm just thinking of. I, I think there's something there, definitely. Yeah, because I, I always, when I see these paranormal groups and stuff like that or whenever we go out I always me personally for me to believe in something I have to, it has to be like a, an intelligent response um, um, tested over so many times I know that probably this is the spirits off if this if the spirit but um, as soon as you get an intelligent response it doesn't matter what device you're using could be a blown up balloon. You're asking to move the balloon. It could be. Could be asked to move the dolls out. Could be anything. But if it does it, and it does it more than once on command, then you're getting an intelligent response, and that's impressive. So when yeah. we said that a steady six, I was like, Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Kind of didn't, it, I kind of didn't want it to stay at six, but it was. And it was on command, pretty much, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I've got a nasty habit that I need to keep up with, so I'm just gonna excuse me. I'm gonna make a bit of a, a bit of a roll. If you and Chad want to conversation, with each spark other. one up, eh? Yeah, if you and if you and Sally have a conversation with each other, keep keep me in the room, but like remove us, and I'll uh, I'll listen to your conversation. Yeah. Right, I'll just uh, switch you around a bit, and you can sit down with us. Oh, I got my ugly bug on the big camera for. Because you're special. What's that do? I think Adrian, Adrian was getting worked up at some point, wasn't he? Yeah, he said. Yeah. But he was. Um, there we go. That screen. Real suspense from here. Twice I've nearly jumped. <laughs> so, do you say it's as bad as some of the going? places that we've been together? Sorry, Doug. Do you say it's as bad as some of the places that we've been to? No, it's, it's, it's as though I'm walking. It's as though I'm walking into a hot spot. It's, it's like. You ever been abroad and uh, at night time it, it feels really warm around you and then suddenly you go into a cold spot and you're like <clears throat> and then you come out of that cold spot, you know, I know that's just the weather. But that's what it feels like here as an activity. So like right now it feels fine, but as soon as you start doing those experiments and we're getting some kind of response, then everything just kicks off and I'm starting to feel tense and uh, and uh, the first the first time it all started kicking off that was um that was a bit weird mm. have you noticed the breeze picking up or anything like that because it was really still initially wasn't it no it's 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 steady again it's now really steady there's a there's a bell going off in the distance because it must be what time is it it's 10 o'clock 10 o'clock. Yeah. So, yeah. 10 o'clock news always goes live from Durham. That's why you can hear the dong. <laughs> Bells are cool, though. 
but um, <coughs> you did look I mean, pretty terrified. Honestly, I mean, I'll, I'll watch it back, but I I'll, I I'll, I was feeling it was just a, a mix of emotions all coming rushing at once. Yeah. If I'm being totally honest, and then I told myself off and thought, "Stop being a freaking drama queen." <laughs> this, this probably looks really fair that you've just started becoming a drama queen and honestly I wasn't that, that, that was just emotions all rolled into one yeah very fast yeah. I mean I we, know, we know you wouldn't fake anything or whatever anyway but oh, when you're out doing it it's you worry yeah. that people think if you are but you're not yeah thanks Adrian here's me trying to <laughs> <laughs> But I, I tried to analyse it, but I, I suppose it's like um, it's, it's like being on a ghost train, and you sat there before the ghost ride, and you you, you can't ish, and then as soon as you go in, the things like ah, wee, 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 wee. things yeah. are going in your face. You like, ah, yeah. and then you write a bit again, and everything's like I'm calm. Yeah. And you feel a bit of a tit when you see your photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I can describe. I hope it's good. Oh, it's two little oh. eyes, look. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're gone. But like they're blinking. <laughs> that has to be two lights in the background with the tr trees probably moving. They're gone now. Feels blocking them. Just lean back a bit. There they are again. And again. Can you see them, Phil? Yeah, that's just a lot. That's, that's where the rolling club is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could. Right, we're going to capture this and we're going to put something there. Yeah. <laughs> Up for it now, Phil. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm learning how to edit just to edit that one little scene. <laughs> right, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Penny hasn't dropped yet, has it? <laughs> I don't think you realize that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed it's steady six? It's five now. Yeah, five point six. I must, I must look like a right idiot sat here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ted, none of us commented. <laughs> totally not for you guys watching at home, but um, to anybody here is thinking, what the frick is he doing? <laughs> well, you're allowed to take a break, aren't you? Yeah. Do you know what I was going to do? I was going to bring a flask of coffee. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> Proper set himself up for the night with a little blanket. Yeah. That's what I usually do. Oh, someone's grasped you up, mate. Right, there's someone coming towards me now. We've got a flash now. Jim Eastlake has asked, do you ever use the plasma box to talk to the spirits? We haven't, have we? Not the plasma box. Have you? No. No, Phil only uses one up. It's the same one we all use, Echo Box. Yeah. I do like Echo Box. I do. Of all the ones we tried, it's the only one that's ever said my name. Yeah. 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 And I said your name a few times, actually. It has. Yeah. And it's usually saying something horrible to you as well. Thank you, fucker. That's 
I take the mask off. There's no one there. Yeah. Wasn't nobody watching? Christ, love. <laughs> Adrian's book. Adrian. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're going to trick you later on. I could just leave that on and anybody pass it by. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to spin a cigarette out. <laughs> you should have put it on when you saw that guy running. If it was a man. Philip uses pauls to enhance ghost boxes. A live EVP through the microphone. Oh, I get it. It's recording and playing back at the same time. Right, I'm actually going to start making uh, towards the uh, gardens. And then from the gardens, I'll start making way back to the car. I don't know, like, long, long track. To make sure I play a sat on. Make sure I haven't left anything. Make sure I haven't left anything. Yeah, it's all leaving off the gadgets behind. And now I've got a cold out. Right, oh, I've mm. got further down here where I went. <laughs> Just turn up the brightness. See if we can go to all these, uh, these gardens then. I have showed the garden on a previous live. Uh, I think it was about maybe a year ago now. Did you? You, you might recognise it. Yeah. You know when you told me to go in the woods? I was so low. Yeah. We saw, we saw that kid's toy in the middle oh, of the yeah. field. <laughs> yeah. Which looks like it should belong in a Hollywood community. Yeah, then. Still a really clear night, is it? Mm. Yeah. We were. Before, before, we, before we were making. Um, we're making dogs, aren't we, and stuff like that. Before saving. Making dogs. Right yeah, in the clouds. Yeah. The temperature right now has massively dropped. What do you mean? I'm trying to I'm getting rid of the sun. I'm trying to I'm going off track now. Sounds like somebody talking. Hey, yeah. You keep hearing that. It sounds like somebody talking. Oh, I'm going through some leaves at the moment because I've just gone off. Because I think I've actually missed my entrance. I'm really disoriented right now. Um, let's go back. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I can see the I can see the, uh, the gardens in the distance. Right, here's the plan. So I'm getting a little bit <laughs> a little bit creeped out now if I'm going up here. But I don't know if you can see that. What's that? I'll see you in a minute. 
I've gone back up to Nate. I don't know why. What, Phil? I've gone up to an eight. You've gone up to an eight? Yeah. To Sorry, be I'm fair, it does look pretty scary. Yeah. I'm now in the middle of these uh, gardens. There's no one around, it's just me. Jockey says you're doing great, Phil. Thank you. Right, so we've got some steps. It's going to lead up to the top. Your little step count on your phone's gonna wonder what's happened today, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that looks pretty creepy. I remember this place. What is that? Trisha says you're doing a lot better than you normally do. Just move it further, move it further, move it further. Banging. Like it's on the steps. Right, okay. You can bring it back now. I heard banging noises, I don't know if you heard that. Yeah. It sounded to me like the one. Those couple of thuds. Yeah, it's going to be a the now. And one, it's it stands. There we go. Oh, now we've got full moon. There's only three quarter moon tonight. Yeah. I was just going to read that comment there. <laughs> Adrian, Adrian. says, agree, you. you done a mate. I'm really feeling some fear. I'm not usually sensitive. Perhaps it's because I'm poorly at the moment. Right, could go down there and go back to civilization. Now. Not really. I want to go back. There's another room further down the river, but that's sky. That's a cool sky. So I thought that must be the sun down there, because over here it's the moon. Well, it could be the lights from the city. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> it's, like that one. it's not that late, mate. It's time to start coming up. You'll be saying the earth is flat next. 
straight, you feel. <laughs> Say again. You'd be saying the earth is flat next. Yeah, it is. Everyone knows that, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> With their members all around the globe. Yep, all around the world. Yep. <laughs> all around. <laughs> The earth is flat, but the moon is round. Hmm, strange. <laughs> right. So we've just passed that gate area. And inside, inside there, I don't know if you can see that conifer. But there's some really, it's a beautiful garden inside, behind this brickwork. I've actually had my drone up before and done some footage, aerial footage of this area and sent it to the group, which they appreciated. Be good to see that. The moon is made of machines. Okay, just a door. Mm. Nothing to see here. Let's go down. This is where I might slip. Oh, frig in hell. It's about 45 degrees. Oh. Yeah, yeah stand your button slide down. <laughs> right, where am I? Right. Adrian, the moon is fake, lol. <laughs> yeah, it's just a torch, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Right. If we go this way. There's another little entrance here. That is very true what Trisha said, isn't it? The moon has no light, it reflects from the sun. So his comment was not so silly. <laughs> Right. I actually don't know. Uh, come back down to six. I'm just more, a bit more concerned that I don't know how to get out now. Oh, my. Nice. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't That's be honest. Um... Apologies if I haven't done as much calling out as I should have done. But... Oh, it's really muddy. The benefits of not wearing well is... I know, I shouldn't be going up here. I do not know where I'm going now. Back the way you come. Yeah, because I don't really want to be going up there. No. I can either... I thought I heard a whisper beside you, Danny Phil. Whisper? Mm hmm. It's not my breath, is it? No. I, I heard like a whisper beside you. Just panning really slowly, see if you can see any faces. Is anybody here with me? Yeah. Can you make a face? Left, left, go left. Left, left, left. Stop. What can you say? Uh, a face in the tree, but it's just um, paradise. Yeah. Okay. But it looks kind of creepy. Did you spot anything? Do a screenshot it. But you post it and you see your hands. <laughs> oh! Joking. 
don't know, but a couple of times I heard something say go. When? Amongst all the noise. Just now. Do I go? There you go. Just mute your microphone so I don't know this and call right. Okay. Good luck. Is anybody here with me right now? Can you just make a noise really, really loud? I'm not hearing anything because I haven't got Sammy's ears, but uh, just do a quick temperature check and then I'll get the DVR out again. Right. A lot colder. I did mention that earlier, that it was feeling a lot colder. So we're at 4 Celsius. Um, just looking for the DVR. It's in my pocket. Just turn it on. It should be on file 4. Turn it on, Phil. I'm hearing rustling there. Right, if I press record, it should be on file four. Recording now. Is anybody here with me right now? Can you make a noise, please? Say hello. Tell me your name. I can hear you banging. Come closer to me. I just had a, ooh. Was that you? Can you make that noise again, please? I can hear movement in the grass. If it's not wildlife, can you just come closer? Step closer to me. You can touch me on the shoulder if you want to. Probably in the back. I'm going to listen back now to see if I can hear you. If you want to say anything else, do it now, please. Right, I'm just going to stop that now. And then I'm just going to press play. Is anybody here with me right now? Can you make a noise, please? Say hello. Can you tell me your name? I can hear you banging. Come closer to me. Was that you? Can you make that noise again, please? I can hear movement in the grass. If it's not wildlife, can you just come closer? Step closer to me. You can touch me on the shoulder if you want to. Prod me in the back. Listen back now to see if I can hear you. If you want to say anything else, do it now, please. I'm just going to stop that. Did anybody else hear the woo? I heard it, Phil. That sounded really close to me. It sounded, it sounded, it sounded yeah. just there, just here. There's a lot of movement in the ground there, and then I heard a "ooh." It didn't. It didn't uh, sound like it was far away. It's any close. Was that yeah. a noise? I don't know. That was clear. 
Yeah, a few people in the chat have heard it as well. Yeah, I've got it on uh, record. I've got it on record. So when I get home, what I'll do, I'll upload it. And uh, the only editing I'll do to it is cut it so that you don't have to hear the whole thing. Unless you want to hear the whole thing. I don't know what's been. What do you think? And then I'll upload it onto our Facebook page. Right, I'm, I've finally made my way out of the gardens. Back to the path, so I've heard it. Yeah, listen. Thank you, not going mad. Chucky says it's worth listening back from because there was probably more. Can I do that now? Okay. Right, back then. You mute your um, microphone there, maybe. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> listen back. So quiet here. Right. Here we go. Is anybody here with me right now? Can you make a noise, please? Say hello. Tell me your name. I can hear you banging. Come closer to me. Yeah, just the. Uh, did you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was that an owl? Was it an owl? I don't know. Definitely want to analyse. I promise you, I'll put it up on Facebook um, as soon as I get back. You can't have a listen. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Even if it's, uh, <laughs> even, if it, even if it's nothing, we can analyse it and then chuck, chuck it in the trash if it's crap. Yeah. That's certainly a creepy sound of owl. If it was an owl. So I can either head back to the car, or I could take you on a bit of a walk into Durham. But it is a bit of a stretch. And it's getting late, isn't it? So. What do I do? Um, well, I need to have a, a break for a sec. <laughs> um. <laughs> right, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll start I'll start heading back towards the car, I think. Yeah. And uh, I can always take you on a tour of Durham if you've never been before during the daytime. Uh, it's, a really, it's a really good place, a really good town to come to. Very, 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 very historic if you've never been before it's almost like a small version of york but it is beautiful overrun by students but beautiful um but stay with us if you are if you want to stay with us i'm just gonna stay on until i go to get to the car jared's got his finger on the uh the 999 button just in case anything happens it's really assuring thank you very much jared <laughs> he's gone quiet where's he gone oh no he's just messaged me his pc's just crashed <laughs> well we're not even live yeah we're live oh we're live we are live still yeah but he said his pc's just crashed um wait a second be back in a bit those are those lights that you saw uh, that's the lights that you saw earlier and that's the river What's that? And when you said that you saw lights. Yeah. <coughs> when I stepped on the slab. Yeah. Uh, yeah, both of the lights. Oh, right. Of the which mansion. Which one of the bridge now? No, not the mansion. Oh, right. That's the river. That's the river. Um, this is the bridge that you went over. Is it the first one? That tallish bridge? <laughs> Another bridge. Quite a long. It's a long trek, isn't it? Yeah. Which <laughs> <laughs> way? We're on a road to London. Jesus, it's a bit empty, isn't it? 
really long bridge. What's it crossing? Uh, it's part of the part of a river where the river veers off towards the end there. Right. Right, you've got a lot of um, love in the room. Uh -huh. Yes, you've got I'll, Trisha I'll saying you've done well. I'll close my Tinder account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and John, John Saunders has said you've done well as well tonight. Um, Cheers, John. You are? I said thanks, John. Thanks, Trisha. I'm not done yet. I've still got another bloody mile to walk yet, I think. Have you really? Bloody hell. <laughs> you God. It has been a good exercise then, hasn't it? Oh. Exergation. <laughs> John needs a new PC, so I'll smash them stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jockey said, yeah, great job. It's like everybody's leaving. Where are you going? Right, we're going back on this bridge again. The haunted bridge. Nice. I don't think I saw that before. I might have been outside, saw the dogs out. Your voice is echo. Oh, did you see that flash then? Whoa. Yeah. Did what you see a flash? Where did it come from? I have no idea. There was a flash right in front of us. Did just anybody see that at home? Just turn my torch off. There was a flash. I thought it was my eyes playing up. I thought I blinded myself. Oh, wow. This UFO is coming down for you. There's another flash as well. A little dim one. It is just the UFOs coming for you. <laughs> How are you feeling? One to ten. <laughs> Two. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm not ready to run yet then. No. Yeah. I um if I'm in all honesty, I'm really, really familiar with this walk. I think sometimes it's fear itself that's you scared. Once you conquer yeah. the fear. You're not scared anymore, are you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's just that's when right. something, if something was to happen that wouldn't normally happen, like I've done this walk millions of times, mm -hmm. so if something extraordinary was, was going to happen on this walk now, like something appeared in front of me, yeah. then that would be unusual, and the fear factor would go straight back up because you, your brain yeah. just goes curiosity mode. Yeah. Which is also, this fear. Jesus, I'm talking deep. You are. And did you know that there's three Fs you've got, right? This is what happens when you're in a situation. Okay? Yeah. You either fight, you flight, or you freeze. The three Fs. So if you're confronted in a confront confrontational situation, something scary, something terrible, you either fight, you flight, or you freeze. You've got um, Sarah Fenton said, brilliant, Phil. Well done. Thank you, guys. Uh, John Saunders said, investigating and getting fit. Yeah. Trisha said... <laughs> Trisha said we ain't leaving long. Thank you, Trisha. Uh, John can saw the flash of light. Yeah. Uh, can you time? Can you can you time stamp that? How long ago was it? Um, I'm not actually sure. I don't know. What was one, one, two or five? No. Twenty-two thirty-four now. Yeah. <laughs> and 205 into the um, screen. Hold on, I'll take a picture of the screen. Wait a minute. Um, there we go. Time stamp. Um, Jockey. Oh, what, what? Are you alright? Are you alright, Phil? Just, just turn, your, turn your mic off. Turn your mic off. 
Right, right, right. Right, okay, I can hear voices. There's no one around me at all. I just heard something go up with hello, hello, hello. I can hear it now. I know it's quiet again. <sighs> you can come back now, Sadie. Just as you were talking, <laughs> yeah. I heard a hello, like really deep, like hello. Oh wow! That was to the right of me. I didn't I didn't hear anything on my end. Um, this is what's oh, so cool. He's back. Hey, <laughs> this is what's so cool. This is what's so cool about editing, though, isn't it? Because you start you start hearing all these Easter eggs and stuff, you know. Yeah. It's like you're doing the investigation so, again. Yeah, yeah. Don't Did anybody hear that strange, at home? Sorry, Sorry John. Oh, as soon as you went to go to the play the playback again, my laptop just completely utterly just froze with a horrible Ooh. screen noise come down it, so I had to pull the plug. With a horrible scream. So what happened there? Okay. Yeah, it's like a. Well, that it just completely locked up. Oh, what? Never done that before. That weird. I do believe these things can travel like through the electronics and everything. In a sense of effect, and, and, and you know, when we're all watching at home, and the different devices we're using, even the white noise from our mics, all, all of our mics combined. Like that constant noise you hear now, I think if you listen carefully, you might hear stuff. I'm just gonna just come over here because I'm curious about these lights. I don't know if they're all Victorian lights or the futuristic ones. That's like a cool photo, aren't it? Yeah. They're the UFO lights. <laughs> Look at these lights. It's the 5G lights. Yeah. Oh, it's Ah, just cheap ones they use to fill a hole. Oh, there's the mothman. What was that flying scorpion? I wasn't meant to come this way, but Sarah said her phone has been on one tonight as well. What's that? Her phone's been playing up or something, I think. She said my phone has been on one tonight on PU. That's kind of weird, isn't it? That's, that's someone holding it up. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Little person holding up the barrier, holding up the barrier. <laughs> Live here tonight, real alien. Yeah. We were just saying a minute ago, I was telling Phil the UFOs are coming for you because he was seeing flashing lights. I know I feel like it's probably the police coming after him again. Yeah. <laughs> there were sirens there a little while back. There we go. <laughs> there. Mm -hmm. Swear a minute. Yeah, probably find a bit more scrupulous out there would actually go and say that that is actually a, a nip or something holding up a fence. Yeah. What's that? He's had, he's had enough, isn't he? Sitting down. We've been broken. Oh, yeah, look, his head's missing. Sit down, his head, his head, his head off. <laughs> <laughs> he had his head kicked in. Oh, no. He's just kicked in. Oh, no. He's just kicked in. 
Yeah, we're doing a little paranormal thing, so um, oh, really? yeah, we're, we're live. So, do you want to say hello? Hi, Hi there. Hello. Oh, All right, Durham. Right, okay, yeah. cool. Oh, like yeah, so when you walk past us, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a about students, it's a lovely. Fucking hell. <laughs> you came up behind me. You know a 10, are you? You know, you know a 10, are you, Phil? Yeah, I just peaked at 10. I went to 11. Friendly, friendly enough. And I need some new undies. Watch it. Watch it. Facebook chooses him as the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can do all the work tonight, and you'll be the thumbnail. Unless I can find some dog shit later on. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if you'd gone there, you would have missed that. <laughs> now, the original place I was going to go to was the woods, which is right, right across over here. And to get to it, you can follow this path around, and that goes into some more woods that way. And then it takes you across the road into the dark woods, dark, 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 right over here. Back to the I started tonight where the woods was. But instead of going that way, so there you go, there's, there's some more woods. Instead of going that way, I'm going to go this way. Adrian says, Yep. Crispy cream donuts. Crispy cream donuts are the bollocks. They are great. Never tried them. Expensive, but they are worth it. They are lovely. No, because then that would defeat the object, as you see. If I get stopped, I'm on my exercise, I'm carrying a big bag of dawn. <laughs> it's worth it. I haven't had a Krispy well, Kreme donut since you went into lockdown. That's, that's some huh? uh, good, good lighting for the next bench alert. Look to your right. You can throw it away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's on a trainer. Oh, no, it's, it's, on, it's on a generator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's another one. Back. Go get your car. Unless they're propaganda speakers. Stay inside, COVID. Stay inside. <laughs> yeah. We have control. You are a number. You are a number. Oh, look at that cloud. Ah, nothing special. That's a tree. Yeah, I was thinking that. It wasn't. That's a tree. That's what we were seeing, the tree in the clouds. Yeah. And that's ah. a tree. Straight ahead. Yeah. I feel like I'm in primary school now. That's a tree. <laughs> tree. Yeah. yeah, I think I've totally worn these batteries out. I should have told him my bloody page. Well, I should have told him our page, shouldn't I? And then he could have spread the news on in the university. Yeah. I'm going back say, you never guess what. I met this right dickhead tonight walking around doing ghost stuff on the path. He, he was just in the middle of filming a headless statue. Yeah. <laughs> what the fence? He came up behind me and went, yeah, it's creepy that, isn't it? I thought, <laughs> <laughs> there's, just been a, there's just been a massive splash in a the water. Water? Splash in the water. Was there? Yeah, he's swimming, he's, he's swimming down the side of you now. Yeah, he was the ghost. Yeah, <laughs> he might have been. Is there any stones about? You could try throwing a stone in the water and say, ask it to do that noise back. Hang on. Don't fall in, though. <laughs> Is that a fish monster? This is the this is the river now. Splash. <laughs> There's the water. Is it very deep? Um 
it's not it's not very it's not that deep actually around this area but what will get you is the currents underneath right the very very fast currents and there's sadly i know this for a fact there's been uh, a lot of students that have lost life uh within this river mm. uh from drunken nights out um they do warn them when they first come on the first year all about the dangers of the river and that but there always seems to be someone falling in at some point and losing their lives mm. i just heard something there yeah, I like that. That's something talking back. Can you say it again for me, please. Do you not find it's when you're talking that you start hearing the voices? Yes, because you're not paying attention to. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's almost joining in with the conversation. And then get shy when you ask. Yeah. Oh, What's that? That was steep. Oh. <laughs> I was, all, I was all the way down there then. He sounded in pain. <laughs> this is arthritis kicking in. <laughs> Hey, Jared. Hmm? I've done at least eight miles tonight. You've got to do it tomorrow. You've got to better me. You've got to go 12. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry you're, break, you're breaking up there, mate. I didn't hear any of that. What's in tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Hi, it's Jared live. Here we are at the haunted bench. I brought some cushions along. <laughs> <laughs> a sleeping bag and a tent. <laughs> Camping stove, some beans, bacon, eggs. <laughs> and if you're lucky, you might see the black monk upon the pontic <laughs> Right. Can you hear owls now? I'm glad I didn't go in that forest. <laughs> the noise is I've going. Got I've got to think of somewhere to go tomorrow now, haven't I? No. We've no. got it all professionally planned out for the whole week, guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> Will no, Matt do live on Saturday? Yeah, that's the thing. No one knows it yet. We have asked Matt to go out live on Saturday solo. So everyone make sure... <laughs> well, he said he is. He said he will. Yeah. And he can't let us down now, can he? Not now he said he will. There, there is no room for any excuse. Who said that? Matt. Now Matt said he will go live set tomorrow night. I will remind him again tomorrow. <laughs> it's his turn. And I remind him on Saturday. <laughs> He's got to, hasn't he? He's seen all of us lot do it. Well, so far me and Phil anyway. I should think so. I've been carrying you lot this year. The amount of times I've been out. <laughs> <Phil's face. laughs> <laughs> They're all sitting in a nice warm house. I've been out there freezing. Well, yeah, to be fair, yeah. Did that old biddy's home all on my lonesome? We need to get somewhere inside. Maybe something for 2021 if things get better. Um, even collaborating with someone, you know, someone, someone decent. Yeah, you can always watch us on messages. Yeah, not be a collaboration. Yeah, sure, we'll find somewhere. It's got to wait for everywhere to open up again, probably. Yeah. The other problem we're going to come across now is because everywhere's been closed for a year, they're going to hoik the prices through the roof, aren't they? Yeah. yeah well, not if you're technically, but everyone skimped. So. Mm. If we put prices, not go along, they'll still be empty. Yeah, but you've got the big events groups, haven't you? They'll hoik the prices up and they'll pay the expensive prices because they can always sell the tickets. That's why if you collaborate with us, big, bigger in numbers, 
A bit cheap, keep it real. Yeah. When it becomes uh I like abandoned buildings, Trisha. She said we prefer abandoned buildings, I do. There are, there's meant to be loads in Norfolk, but I'm bugging if I can find any of them. Yeah, I've looked, I, I, I can't find them. I can't. I've seen all these, like, um, what are they, urban explorers? Yeah, they don't tell you where they are. They just say, oh, here we are today in Norfolk in blah, 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 or Suffolk. You think, well, where are you? Yeah. I do have a place. I do have a place I want to go in Norwich, which I've been meaning to go to for years. But I really want to wait for Phil to come down for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Failing that, I'll always come with you. Oh, are we allowed to go out in two while the lockdown's on or not? We are, are cause we're, we are because we're in tier two, aren't we? Right, yeah. But we're not allowed to go indoors. Right. I'm in a, so we could go... Seriously, there we I'm just uh, look at, on the lookout for some this. You are? I said I'm in a seriously infected area, tier three. Yeah, you are tier three. I'm on the lookout for zombies. <laughs> <laughs> the only tier one is the Isle of Wight, the Silly Isles and Corn. Yeah. Places where nobody go anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously I'm joking because those places are beautiful, but they are quite rural. They're not populated. Yeah. I have been to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I have. I think it's lovely, I think. I quite like it. Yeah, it's all right. I'm sure I'd enjoy it a lot more when I'm 75. <laughs> it is, it's a retirement It's a retirement place, isn't it? Yeah. Having said that, though, we did go on a banana boat there. I did go on a boat out to the, um, oh, the Needles. I went out to the Needles in a boat. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Oh, oh, that is... What's the needles? The needles. You know what the needles are? The only reason people go to the Isle of Wight. Yes, yeah, the rocks are right in the sea. Yeah. Oh, right. Is that where them, um, oh, them cable car things are? Where you sit and swing things? No. No? They're, they're like spiky, spiky rocks. You can, you can actually get a boat. And... Yeah, we went on, on a boat. Yeah. Oh, right. So if I can find a picture for you. Yeah. Because uh, we went on those cable car things that go down the mountain to the beach. That was yeah. quite good. I walked. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Did you also, not get um, the cable car at all? No. I think, oh, in um, the needles as well, there's in the cliffs, you've got old. See, that's, that's the needles. I can't show you because you know what we're showing that for because you can't see my camera. Hang on, let me just put a no, exactly. There you go, that's the needles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've not seen them, I don't think. And uh, took a boat trip out to them. It's nice. There's lighthouse on the end, isn't there? Yeah. There's also tunnels in there, war tunnels. <laughs> go through the cliff. Right. Did you go through them as well? Yeah. 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 And there's a McDonald's on there as well. It's the first thing we found we got off the ferry was a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and in there was a, a lot of pamphlets on the table for free free entry to the local theme park. Yeah. Yeah, that was stunning as well. I can't remember us going to the theme park. I think it's I don't know if it's still there now, I think it's shut down. Hmm. I mean, we went ages ago when we went. The kids were all small, but I can't. I'm sure we would have gone to a theme park if we didn't know about it. But I can't remember it. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. They got five tiers. You what? Five tiers in Scotland. Left one bed. Yeah. yeah. The question is: Does anybody take a blind bit of notice of your five tiers in Scotland? Because uh -huh. what we got three. We got three, which, to be honest, the majority of people don't take a blind bit of notice of. 
No. But in Scotland, it starts at zero, doesn't it? It's tier zero. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we had five to begin with, though. Back in no, the always, no, I've always had three. Right, here's another sign. This is the original sign I wanted to show you. This is how white is why I got mixed up. <coughs> so these are the ones. Ah. That built the river. Where? So that's just where you've been walking, is it? Yeah. It's a nice place. It's lovely. It is a lovely walk around that way. Mm. Yeah, but well, it's not pitch black. So you've been there, Jared? Not to, not to that point. I've been to uh, quite a few places around that way. Yeah. He's dragged me out on a few nice long walks around around that way, haven't you? Yeah. Is it very hilly? Well, compared to Norfolk, it is. Compared to Norfolk, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, walk up, you, walk up, yeah. you walk up the stairs in your house and you, you think it's different in Norfolk, don't you? Well, you walk upstairs, mate, you get, you get a nosebleed. It's that high. <laughs> I think that could be why so many people this way suffer from vertigo. Because we're just flat. <laughs> Do you get it? I think someone else Jared. said that. Vertigo, I, no. I said to Jared, well, how can that be? Because in Norfolk, you've got the most... Aeroplanes and runways. Everyone's not scared of that. Mm. We have got a lot of aeroplanes in here. Yeah, but, but we don't get to go up in them, do we? Right. You'll be uh, lots more guys coming back. Only the Ghost Watchers helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the car. Very well done, Philip. Cool, is that bullet yeah. holes in the side of the car? I don't see. It Quite says on the side. Quiet. No, it just says Ghost Watchers UK R1 <laughs> 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 Right, hang on. Oh, <laughs> Malacca's. <clears throat> Malacca's crackers. Yeah. For wankers. Yeah. Right. Cool. Have been at the uh, thingy lately? The car wash? <laughs> They're all shut because of lockdown. You can't wash the car. You can actually. <clears throat> We've got one open. That's true. We've got them open. Yeah, but he's tier three. We're tier two. Yeah, but uh, say yeah. the Your children don't count. You are? Your children don't count for the car wash. Your children just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> well, when it comes to children, when it comes to children washing a car, you might just pay them and let them do nothing, because you only got to wash it after they're finished anyway. Exactly. <laughs> they make it worse than what it was all the time. Clean the car. I'll pay you a fiver. Okay, do half it. I've had enough now. I can't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> What if I should do a thing? It's possible. I'm dry. <laughs> well, listen to your taste in music. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be, uh, be done in bed from prodigy. <laughs> well, you did very well, young Philip. Thank yes. you. I'm very, very sweaty. You did. You hot now. That was a long walk. Um, yeah, my, my only apologies is that it might have seemed like I didn't do as much calling out or actually investigating. Um, I think it's better when I'm with either one of the, you know one of you uh, out with Jared and out with and that you seem to know what you're doing. Yeah, but I thought you did brilliant, Phil. Honestly. Ah. Yeah, not 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 bad for the training. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe the, maybe the force is with me. 
<laughs> I thought the I thought the temperature thing was good. Yeah. Even if you didn't I thought it was good. Mm. I think your questions are good as well, though. I think you know. I, I like I like watching you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going all red now. <laughs> all right. I'll just ask my friend what he thought of it. What did you think of it? Yeah, I think it's very good here, Steve. It's very good here, Steve. He'll get a tap on the window in a minute for that little student asking for a lift back. Yeah. <laughs> or I think he'd come and bum, bum, bum a fag or something. Yeah. Tell you what, it better not do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. no, you can't. No. Shut off. I'm a student. I don't care. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy too. How bad are you? Well, I got arrested last night for breaking into my fiber. Oh, that's pretty bad, yeah. See you later, mate. Ah, oh, students. <laughs> <laughs> Right here. Do you know I brought I brought the phone. I'm impressed yeah. with these I'm impressed with these new phones. I actually do you remember when I, there was a period where I never brought a power bank? I brought a power bank with me. I didn't even have to use it. Um but in the old phone, my battery would have gone by now, but these new phones are pretty good. It's at thirty yeah. percent. It's fully charged. Yeah. You got an Apple or an Android? Well, a normal phone, Android, the best phone. Mm. Proper phone. <laughs> not, not the toy phone. <laughs> yeah, well, well mine's tastier phones. than yours. <laughs> That's only because it's got a Samsung. It has a good... From the what? That's only because it's got a Samsung chip in it. And a screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, it's a Samsung made screen. I don't believe, yeah. I do believe. They're just easier to use, aren't they? People are not used to farms and stuff. Mm. Well, that's right, because as they go through the whole generation, they don't change, do they? They're exactly the same now as what they were when the, the first ones come out. Yeah. So you haven't got to learn anything new. You don't get anything new. Oh, look, I've got a new one of them, and it's uh, exactly the same as the last one I had. And if you want to explore and do other stuff, you can't because you have to buy it up to stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's in all seriousness, that's what put me off by Apple. Um I think I think the good uh, talking about problems, I think I think the uh, the iPads are, are pretty good, like uh, especially like for photography. Photography and stuff like that. <clears throat> but the um the phones not not having the freedom to do other stuff kinda of put me off. Yeah. Well, that's me doing. I'm not going to be responsible for anything. Let's bring us all up. Let's have. Let's, let's bring us all up together. Look. Nope, not that one. Not this one. Nope, this one. There, yeah, look, oh, we're all on the screen. There, yeah, look. Uh, see us all now. I know. So you are holding the phone the wrong way. Then. See in a broom cupboard. Yeah. So yeah, glad you all enjoyed it tonight. I can't even get my hands like that's it. <laughs> yes, you did very well, Philip. Yes, mate, you did good. You did. It was an enjoyable watch. Where you the phone now. <laughs> I'm still there. Cut up, you're just where you're just a blur. Yeah, I've always got a habit of dropping my phone in the car. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see many comments flash up. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, there was a few, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a few, yeah. Quite a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah bloody critics. <laughs> Dropping you well done, Phil. Excellent night. See, look, there you go. Look, I'll flag one up for you now. Look, there you go. Do you feel, do you feel happy now? Yeah, Jockey. I think interesting as well. I think um, Trisha mentioned it to Jockey. Very it'd, be it'd be interesting if Jack was up to it. Uh, I don't know how you guys do it, um, about going live to Scotland one night 
and let, let Jockey and his team uh, go live but on this platform so we can see how, you know, what, how they do things up there. How they do it over the border. Yeah. Um, you don't think that's a good idea. What do you think, Jockey? But he's got to wear a kilt. <laughs> With nothing on underneath. Oh, there's always one that has to push the boundaries. Isn't on it? a windy night. <laughs> You've got to have a fist net underneath. Like a safety net, just in case we drop. A safety net? <laughs> well, on the bell toll. His <laughs> bell will be ringing that night. <laughs> <laughs> he agreed to the kill, yeah. <laughs> We're talking about Jockey it. Has actually said, I'm going to Sounds great. Fantastic. All the balls ringing. Trisha, get a translator. Yeah, we, we will need a, a translator in. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't think he was that bad. I could understand him. Yeah, yeah I could like understand him, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I've got I've got um, Scottish cousins. I can't remember where they were. Where they were at the I don't think it was Glasgow. I have a game. And um, when my grandma passed away, all these people, you know, all these family members, come from places that you you didn't really know that they were. You didn't know that you had cousins. You know I mean? So all these people from Scotland came down. And all these people from Ireland came down. And. Uh, I was talking to one lad and he was the same age as me and he we was Scottish. And it, I think it's worse once they've had a drink. And the, he was getting excited and he drink and I all heard it. Come on, it's one of them. It was all here. It's one of them here. I'm like, I really don't understand you, but And I, I, didn't, I didn't have the heart to say, I'm sorry, I'm not the same age as me. I was just nodding. It could have been saying anything about it. <laughs> But uh, it, was, it was the same for me when I went down south and I was really broad northwest and people didn't understand me. It's really weird though when you've been, when you've been in a place for so long. Hang on a minute, Phil, what, what did you say? What did you say? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's really weird when you, when you go somewhere uh, for, for a while, like that, I went down south for a bit and then I came back. Um, to my hometown for the first time, and I was in a train station in Bolton. And I heard these two old guys talking. Now, normally, I would, I would just, I wouldn't even have to listen to the conversation, but I could hear the accents because I've been aware. Whereas before, I couldn't even hear the accent. Have you had that before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for being here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk to you again. Sorry, you say something, mate. Uh, I'm going to uh, drive off there. I need to get a the thing. Safe trip okay. back then. Have a nice hot drink. Warm up. I don't think you want to carry on talking or we're going to end it. <laughs> Jared, the horse tonight, he's in control. I have the powers. I have all the buttons. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I want <wanted> some buttons. <laughs> How come you get a bit excited there? <laughs> see, I, I, I can do this, you see. I can go. Good, Good night, friends. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's a personal one for you, Phil. Right, okay. There's another one there. Oh, Lynn's finally on. But she normally misses us. I think Lynn's from Australia, I think. And she always yeah. misses us. Yeah. Of... Has anyone heard of the app? Naturophonic. Naturophonic. I think I have. That's one for you, guys. Pretty sure I have. I'll probably download it, good. used it, and deleted it, like I do with 99% of most apps. Is it any good, Lynn? Have you had any success with it? And uh, when, are you, when are you booking out a ticket for Australia? Yeah, when we, yeah, when we come to Australia to do a, do a few things. 
and we can go and visit the Makati Towers. <laughs> can I visit who? Ma the Makati Towers. Makati I actually have. Towers. Lynn's house. Like fourth towers. Oh, Makati. Oh, towers. <laughs> I tell you, I have a friend. I have a friend in Australia. Yeah, I do have a friend, and his stepson is a member of a paranormal team over there. I believe. And every year he says, "Come over and we'll go take you down a gold mine. You can investigate a gold mine." Sounds good to me. And every year I don't. There's so many, yeah, I will. I mean, there's so many amazing places, but there's also so many amazing places right here in the UK. Yeah, it really is. That yeah. people don't actually realize, you know, come off the motorway for a bit, go and venture out to some amazing places. Yeah, yeah. right. And there are noises, and yeah. I guess when it is under our noses, we kind of like take it for granted and don't. Well, I think it's been um, more. I think it's been more discovered now since uh, COVID, and people are doing the staycations and the, and the discovery yeah. about you know all these different places that you can actually go and visit. Um, but yeah, there's loads of places in Britain. It's always the grass is greener on the other side, isn't it? Because yeah, there's, probably, exactly. there's a lot of people in Australia that would love to come to Britain and yeah. think that you're lucky to be here, you know. Yeah. So why would you want to come from all that sunshine and glorious weather to rain? But then again, everything that walks, crawls, slivers and slops in Australia can kill you, can't it? Do you know what I noticed when I was True. out in Cyprus? You know, when I, what I noticed for long periods of being out in Cyprus, but like, for eight, nine months, and then you come back to Britain, and you don't you don't notice it when you live here, but when you land, and you just look out the window, and you haven't been here for so long, you notice how clean looking it is, and the grass is so green, and everything just looks organized, like the farmland. You appreciate it. It's only for a couple of days, but you appreciate it. Well, that's not being really funny, but you go to Cyprus and there's any time after June, the grass is all brown and burnt anyway, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just, it's all rock, isn't it? Unless you actually yeah. sprinkle an area, it'll be green. But naturally, it's just all rock. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when I was out in Cyprus, I never suffered from hair fever once. It was brilliant. I was actually enjoying my summers at once. Yeah. Um, but but it's, it's weird when you come back and you haven't been to an area for absolutely ages. You do miss it without knowing that you miss it. And you come back and you look at Britain and you think, do you know what? It's so gorgeous. It really is. It's uh, so green and lush. Yeah. Well, you, get, you get yourself home then, mate. Get yourself a nice warm cocoa. Yeah. Put your slippers on. All I can see is a floating hat <laughs> and an ear. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally wear a hat. It was just because it's, like, it's, um, it's not Holly from, Holly from Rob Dwarf, isn't he? I'm not trying to be young again. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it makes you look young, actually. Yeah. yeah, you look at least 40. Yeah, but you should wear it all the time. Yeah, it makes you look like you've got hair. Yeah, but you should wear it all the time, like... And go to con shop. I just see ya. Yeah. <laughs> I need to have it on backwards. Or well, have it slightly on the skew, on the on the on the skew with, so it's not quite on straight. That's it. Like that. Yeah. I used to I used to do things like that. I can put that on. Yeah, it looks like mini me now. People I'm used to put it on the side. Are you scorching? Are you Sean Paul? What is the fuck, Sean Paul? I thought you looked like mini me. 
when it was on the side. Now where they're singing, it's a hard enough life. Do you know when um, I did uh, the uh, refair song? We did hard up music. So we, we've got a copyright strike. A what? Copyright strike on Facebook. Because we were yeah. using it. Like copyright slap. What for? You see, what I know for? it's like. <laughs> copyright strike. On what? On the song, Hard Not Life. Oh, what, on here now? Because I'm singing it. Oh, Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm... <laughs> oh, for God's sake. It's getting late again, sorry. Is that blonde? Is that blonde? About she died yeah, a hair blonde and her, her brain cells went... <laughs> yeah. I think it did go down my roots to my brain. Take your pills, Sadie. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> the wall will be round. Oh God. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, copyright. Yeah. yeah. So um. And then, <laughs> I think I was just going up a fan. <laughs> and then last night, last night when Sadie was at the church, and you played the hymn, yeah. I got a copyright strike on the hymn. No. Yeah. Abide with me, it came up with. Yeah, that's the one. Abide with me. <clears throat> yeah, copyright clip. Really? <clears throat> How ridiculous. So, it said I could still keep the video up, but I had to mute yeah. that song. So, oh. if you do go back and watch it and it's muted, now you know why. Yeah. But, I don't think it came up on a detail that there was copyright strike. Hmm. Uh. I thought it was hymn songs were for. I don't. Th I didn't. I didn't realize that copyright. That hymns were copyrighted. I, I thought it was ancient, aren't they? They're hundreds of years old, most of them. Mm. Mm. Unless, unless you used. Um, I really do need that brew. Mm. Gone. Gone, am I? This is Yodin. Gone, am I? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tonight. Tonight, thanks. That's all right, my precious. Adrian, we're gonna get a, we're gonna have to get Pigeon back on for a, re a refresh interview. Yeah, he's been a bit quiet lately. Who, Adrian? Yeah, he's brilliant, Adrian. What have you interviewed him before? Yeah, he's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll have to try and watch that. I'll try and find it. I'll show you the uh, the shortened edited version. That's even funnier. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> I'll, 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 actually, I'll show it on Sunday. Yeah, I'll yeah. show it on Sunday night. Yeah, that would be good to see. Adrian's cool. Yeah. He lives in Leicester. In where? In Leicester. He, he goes out uh, doing right. so by himself, but I think he goes during the daytime. Right, uh, and obviously, uh, like most of us, he, he loves his history and stuff. Yeah, I think sometimes that's the attraction as well, isn't it? Paranormal, it's, it's the history mm. side as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I like the architecture myself. Yeah, it's kind of fascinates me and the decor architecture and, and the feelings associated with all of that. And, how that, you know. Anyway. We saw Sadie actually nods off. You do, some, you do some of them sleeping terps, Sadie. Yeah, good, good night. I was nodding off really then. <laughs> Don't you start saying that, I know. I'm <laughs> Pyramids and soil. And I'm bricks. not really that monotone, am I? I'm not. Hi guys, my my eyes are hanging out my head because of the last night, <laughs> night shift. I need to sleep, but was happy to join this morning. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. That yeah, is talk. 
Yep. That's why she's got the top fan badge. Has she? <laughs> He's opening the can of worms again, isn't he? <laughs> Phil Sorry, Romanic picked the hornet's nest. She's mm. kicking off the thing of a top fan badge. It's got nothing to do with us, it's Facebook. What we should do is do our own do our own awards. The twenty twenty Ghost Watchers Paranormal Award. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we could do. I wouldn't be allowed. Why not? You wouldn't be allowed. Why not? You can Why imagine not? some of the awards. Can you imagine some of the awards that I'd announce? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> 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 be very entertaining. Biggest paranormal knob of the year. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus, it's half half eleven. I'm waiting for Imagine the Imagine the amount of nominations. Well, I've already told you to go home. I told you to get going. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna sign and off then and I'll listen to you too through my car speakers. <laughs> and I shall see you later. See you later, mate. Well done, mate. Well done. Thank yes. you for the lovely. Well done. Well done, dude. Thank you. you. Very well. Yep. Bye. You good. Bye bye. And here's gone. <sighs> and so shall we. Yes. Yes. I need a so, break. So until tomorrow, we bid you adieu. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you for bye -bye. watching. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And yeah. see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.